The next month sees a wind turn it over and over until it reaches soil. Three months later, a sapling grows out of the earth. Nine months later, its white flowers open and glance back at the sea whence it came. Why am I telling you this, children? Because its stamen makes a fierce flame and keeps away the mosquitoes. Mr. Watts blinked like someone just waking up. I have an idea he'd been expecting to hear more and that Mabel's mum caught him off guard with her abrupt ending. Uh, very good, Mrs. Cabouille. Excellent. The heart seed. How are we doing? It looks like you look a bit more in trouble than they do. Oh, um, um. He nodded in our direction, which was a sign for us all to rise and applaud. Mabel clapped her hands the loudest and for the longest. Her mother bent at the hips and dropped her head. She came up laughing. Everyone was pleased. No one had suffered embarrassment or shame. Great Expectations was next. We knew that. We followed Mr. Watts with our eyes. We watched him pick the book up from his desk. Mabel's mum saw it too. She whispered something to Mr. Watts behind her hand. We heard him say, yes, of course, of course. We saw him gesture to an empty desk, and Mabel's mum sat down to be read to from the greatest novel by the greatest English writer of the 19th century. Over and above my own enjoyment, I had to listen very carefully, because later that night, my mum would want an update on Pip. I paid special attention to Mr. Watts' pronunciation. I liked to surprise my mum with a new word she didn't know. Hmm. What I didn't know at the time was all of us kids were carrying installments of great expectations back to our families. You may sit down. And, 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 and I, don't know, I don't know what you felt about that activity. Did you enjoy it a lot, a little? Um, is it all right? Did you enjoy it okay? It's kind, of, it's kind of interesting enough for a little bit, and maybe for a shorter text. But the beauty of it is, it's once again, it's something which absolutely holds the student's attention almost from the beginning. And even the ones who sit down early are quite interested to see who sits down last. And the most incredible thing about it is, I don't know how this happens, but I have never done this activity with all sorts of different texts without someone choosing the last word. And the whole point about someone choosing the last word is it is that someone has chosen the last word, and it's great. That team won, by the way. <laughs> so there. And uh, it, it is Barcelona. <laughs> all of these activities, I must hurry up, all of these activities that I've shown you so far are not necessarily in themselves the greatest activities you've ever seen. But what they do is they engage the students' brains, they engage the students' attention, they have complete concentration and focus from the class. The teacher is in total control, but the students are not passive. They're actually listening. And even the first one, which I didn't do terribly well, but even the first one, the prisoner one, you're listening because most people here, even at a fairly basic level, were quite interested to know what the context was of these words you had. But you can't keep doing that forever. You can't keep leading from the front forever. You've got to take it away from the front sooner or later. So, so let's see if we can now use the numbers in the class to, to actually be an advantage, to build up some tension and some energy and something like that. So here's a simple dialogue. Um, between a person who is, who is happy, they're perfectly cheerful, and they meet their friend in the corridor at the Central University, and they say, how was the exam? How was the exam? Listen, dear students, when you say something like that, you go, how was the exam? In a nice, friendly way, da, 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 da. How was the exam? How was the exam? Everybody? How, how was the exam? A little, little bit more ganas, if you don't mind. How was the exam? Again? How was the exam? And how does he feel? Sad. Sad. Say it, somebody. It was. And, and dear students, because you're, after all, you're only lower intermediate, so you don't know stuff, but, um, um, you know, it was. 
It was, and if you really want to sound, you go, it was terrible. It was terrible. Everybody? It was terrible. OK, let's start the dialogue. You're the smileys, and, and, you're, the, and you're the whatever the opposite is. So, OK, ready? And? So what do you think Smiley says next? And you're surprised. You're surprised, dear students, because you expected him to say it was great. So you say, how do you say why? How do you say why? <laughs> Thank you. Of course, you, and you're such good students, you're probably into lower level. I probably need to move you on. Anyway, but, but, you, but the whole point about the why is you go, why? Why? No, sorry, no, I've got it wrong. Why? Why, everybody? Why? What happened? What happened? OK, just, OK, so let's, this time, you're the smileys, and you're the, and you're the, the opposite. So let's go. And? Why? What happened? I should have said, <laughs> that was perfect, OK. Um, <laughs> just the wrong instruction. Um, by the way, no one ever, OK. Uh, I, how do you do that? I couldn't tell one of the, okay, okay, let's be really British, because British people love, British people, British people, we love, there's no reason why you should be British, obviously, I don't really mean you should be British, except because we're wonderful, but, uh, but, you're British, no reason, but, but British people love whining, you know, so, so we say, we say, it was, uh, I couldn't answer one of the questions. <laughs> I couldn't answer one of the questions, everybody. I couldn't answer one of the questions. And then, where are you going to put the stress in the next sentence? No, the, the thing that, that matters is the, the mess. I made a real mess of it. I made a real mess of it. Let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning of the dialogue. You're the smilers. You're the non-smilers. Start from the beginning. How was the OK, come on, guys. Let's have a little more participation, please. And? And Smiley says, what do, what do you say that for those of you who are for those of you who are old enough to have children? What do you say when a kid comes back and says, "I've really messed up my exam"? You say, "You say, I'm." Uh, you, you probably say, "You probably say, oh come on, listen." Very sympathetic. I'm sorry about the back. You just stand up. It's much easier. Um, 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 you say in that kind of a, oh, come on, come on. Look, I'm being friendly. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. I'm sure it wasn't that bad, everybody. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. To which he replies, guess what he says? Ed, you're close, you're close. He says, you didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do it. OK, very, and then, of course, you get call repetition, things like that. OK, let's start again. Smileys, start from the beginning. You're the smileys, and you're the desperate, old, depressed person. Smileys, let's go. The Chinese guy, Li Yang, with his silly 10,000, 15,000 people English classes, was actually onto something. Now, 